F1's come home for round 10 and off the F1 2021 season we're here at Silverstone one of the greatest tracks on the calendar and this is the grid for the Grand Prix so it was Lewis Hamilton who once again took pole position at the British Grand Prix and it was Pierre Gasly P2 P3 was Carlos Sainz and P4 was Charles Leclerc Fifth was the two McLarens of London Norris and Nico Hulkenberg, P5 and P6. P7 and P8 were the two Alphas headed by Valtteri Bottas, then Sebastian Vettel. Rounding out the top 10 was the two Brits of George Russell and Devon Butler. Just missing out on the top 10 was Max Verstappen who took a 10 play grid penalty. Sergio Perez P12, Brown was P13 with Renan Grove on P14. P15 and P16 is Daniel Ricciardo and Lucas Weber. P17 is Lance Stroll with Kevin Magnussen. P18. On the final row of the grid is Alexandra Albon and Antonio Giovinazzi. Hi guys, Brown here. Welcome back to the F1 career mode here today for my home Grand Prix at the British Grand Prix. One of the best tracks on the calendar. Not the best. Unfortunately, that has to go to Canada. If you missed the last video, make sure to check that out before you see this one. And this is the so this is the strategy for this weekend. We're going to be starting on the soft, then going to the mediums. If you like these videos, make sure to like it and subscribe. And let's go to the five red lights that come on here. There's four, there's five, and it's lights out, and away we go. And it's Hamilton v Gasly. Off the line, Norris goes wide, right on the inside, you can see Nico Hulkenberg there, into turn one, and oh, Hulkenberg round, we have to go completely off the track there, to get the move done, and basically avoid it, we're up into P7 then, you can see, in, and now we have a small gap to build up, and to get down in front to those in P6, as it's Hamilton he still leads from the two Red Bulls, then Lando Norris, then Charles Leclerc, then it was Valtteri Bottas, then comes us, then we have Sebastian Vettel behind us in the other Alpha. So we've managed to split the Alphas at the start and from P13 up to P7. That's a fairly comfortable start. This is the replay of the start then. From Nico Hockenberg's point of view, Charles Leclerc getting a poor start. Hockenberg going right up to the inside and then he's just going to turn in here and he gets clipped by Valtteri Bottas coming across. That's an odd one, I think. Hulkenberg probably should have backed out, but then it's turn one. You're always going to go for it. This is what it looked like from Charles Leclerc's point of view. And you can see here, there, it just goes in. And nothing really you can do. This is what it looked like from Bottas's perspective. And you literally can't see Hulkenberg to the last second. So, racing incident is turn one. And Abby always kind of throws up a surprise there, George Russell massively getting caught out, Hulkenberg spinning right in front of him, and now this is what it looked like from our point of view, I had to go completely off the track, because all the AI cars literally just slammed on their brakes, and just, I couldn't just, I had to have made you know, avoid an action there, and now as we go wheel to wheel with Sebastian Vettel, we get the, the job done and stay ahead of him there and this is the battle for p7 but it's going to come back at us now on the opening lap then sebastian vettel on the outside we have had to take it to the inside but vettel couldn't get back past us there he's going to try to get there into veil and now round the outside of veil he's not going to do that we just shove him wide and actually we go wide there coming out of veil now around the final corner of the club and we're going to be left defending Sebastian Vettel into turn one of Abbey and Vettel gets a job done but we have just the speed round the outside of Abbey into village now and now Devon Butler's trying to get all the way round the outside of Sebastian Vettel that then goes for the inside for entry and the loop and now on to the Wellington Street Vettel and Devon Butler side by side as we go up the straight, the battle for 8th place. And now look at George Russell making it free abreast. Going into Brooklyn's, they're still free abreast. Now into Luffield, they go. George Russell is just backed out of it. He nearly got 
overtaken by Max Verstappen and Devon Butler eventually gets the job done on Sebastian Vettel and, but Seb is not done there, back down the inside he goes he, he, and now heading through Mackers and Beckett's they're still side by side, I think Devon Butler's defended it no he hasn't, yes he has and wow, what a load of action that was for just for P8 but here comes George Russell, can he get the job done, can he get up to us down the inside into Stowe, he's going to think about it George Russell but we have an awful camera angle now and now Sebastian Vettel does defend it and George Russell going a bit Going a bit sharp into Veil and was nearly left defender Max Verstappen as on to lap three. Here comes Devon Butler down our inside. We defend all the way around the outside of Brooklyn's. There's no way Butler's getting us like that, just like he tried and actually did do in Spain on the opening lap. Down the inside though, he's gone wide into Cops. Sebastian Vettel's re overtaken him and now it's all going to kick off because here comes. George Russell as well down the inside. George Russell couldn't get the job done, and and actually there he backs out of it and decides to call it a day for that chance. But here comes Sebastian Vettel again, cuts to the inside, to the outside, heading down into Stowe, down the hangar straight. It's all kicking on the back garden there as well. The two halves is and um, a Toro Rosso. We defend Sebastian Vettel again here, and now we're free abreast going into Stowe. We actually lose two positions, and now potentially another one to Devon Butler. But we absolutely send it down the inside into Vale. Re overtake George Russell, but now we have to get back after Sebastian Vettel, and unfortunately, I didn't have the pace to do that. So down the inside, George Russell tries to go on us into our beat and our through farm curve and our into village we send it again down the inside we actually make contact with George Russell and he's lost out to Devon Butler, Max Verstappen and now potentially Daniel Ricciardo as we go on to the Wellington Strait for the fifth time heading up the Wellington Strait and now there's Sergio Perez trying to get the job done on Daniel Ricciardo this is the battle for P10 if you include George Russell in it side by side round the outside Sergio Perez goes and he gets the job done all the way around the outside at Luffield that's a great move now towards the meaty end of lap 5 here comes Devon Butler he actually gets past us there we then go back down the inside of Devon Butler to re-overtake him now is he going to try something into fail no he's not he's actually going to lock up and Max Verstappen is going to think about getting past him round the outside and getting on to lap 6 Verstappen is actually going to get past Devon Butler down the inside into Abbey that's a great move and now George Russell is going to try and count his chickens and get past Devon Butler as well there heading through the loop and now through entry and now on to the Wellington straight for the 6th time there's an awful camera angle but George Russell is alongside the Renault and down the inside into Brooklyn's and George Russell gets that job done and now he can chase after me and Max Verstappen potentially if he can break away as here comes as is all kicking off in the background there Sergio Perry going off the track as he tries to go down the inside of Devon Butler there through Copped Corner and now all the way around the outside through maggots and now down the inside of Beckett's maybe but he gives up in the end and now we're free abreast all the way going down the hangar straight we're still side by side and down the inside we're going to defend George Russell then goes to the outside and now as we go off the track George Russell is going to try and get us all the way around the outside but we defend him to the inside and Max Verstappen there trying to gain one and he ends up losing one and wow, would you believe this has only been six laps of the Grand Prix. Whilst we were looking at the battle between us two and Max Verstappen, this was going on between Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton and Lando Norris. And Lando Norris, there's contact with Charles Leclerc, not with Lando Norris, but with Valtteri Bottas. And Charles Leclerc has been tagged, he's trundling off through the grass now. And... Valtteri Bottas is off to the right somewhere, there he is, you may have seen, and now 
Lucas Weber's hit the back of Charles Leclerc for good luck there as well. So let's have a look at what happened here. And oh no, Valtteri. What have you done there? He's just driven straight into the side of Charles Leclerc. Bottas clearly hasn't had his porridge today. This is what it looked like from Charles Leclerc. He got just got tagged. What is Bottas doing? Is he is he just expects Charles Leclerc just to disappear into thin air? Charles Leclerc can do a lot of things, but disappearing isn't one of them. This is what it looked like from Lewis Hamilton's perspective. One minute Charles Leclerc's there, he actually slams on the brakes to be fair, so maybe you can't put all the blame at Valtteri Bottas' door, but 90% of it you can. As So them two are now just trundling around at the back on lap 12. We come in to make our one and only stop. George Russell and Max Verstappen pitted a lap before us. We just stayed out an extra lap. So as we come trudling down the pit lane, it's one of the slowest pit lanes on the whole calendar. It just feels like you're going down it forever, especially with, with how it works. Um, the fact that you cut Vale and Club, that bit feels very slow. Now coming out of the pits, and now this is going to be juicy as round the club comes Max Verstappen and George Russell through Abbey they go. And have we beat them out? Yes, we have. Just beat the two out there. And we've come out in P6, of course, due to the Leclerc Bottas thing. And we're going to be sitting, sitting very, very pretty now in this race. But here comes George Russell. He's not done yet with Max Verstappen. Down the inside he goes. Max Verstappen defends him all the way around the outside though. And now he's going to have to try into cops. And that's what he does. Down the inside goes George Russell again. Max Verstappen though is having none of it as... Furry maggots and Beckett's they go round the outside. George Russell's not given up this time though, but eventually he has to as they go into chapel. And now one lap later, here comes Max Verstappen on us as he tries to go round the outside. I kind of played this a bit cheeky and I did squeeze Verstappen a little bit so George Russell could get him. But now one lap later, George Russell tries to go down our inside into Brooklyn's. We defend him round the outside. He stays ahead of Max Verstappen. And now, a couple of corners later, because I was so slow through cops, he tries to re overtake us there. And now he's going to try again through Chapel. Now through Chapel Curve and onto the hangar straight. Here he comes. He's going to try to go to the outside, is Max Verstappen round the outside and he gets the job done on George Russell and that's a great move from Max Verstappen a bit of a painful one for us at Williams we really need points at the minute so hopefully we can get back past and yes George Russell can as we sh kind of shoved Max Verstappen wide he, he just kind of sat there on the exit of the corner one lap later lap 17 George Russell though did get rather taken by him and now comes Sergio Perez by the Brit and now heading down but on lap 18 out of the race goes Alex Albon in the Toro Rosso he's been so consistent this season the Toro Rosso has been consistent but he is out and the safety car is deployed on lap 18 and that's very late of course there's only 26 laps in this race that's a big big engine failure failure though for alex alban this is everyone trundling behind the safety car it's pierre gasly who leads it away and now we can kind of it's kind of helped us out no one pitted because there was literally no point the safety car though on lap 20 is going to be coming in so we are going to have six laps of race and action to deal with but that safety car really helping us out as it kind of got us back in the race because we were just left defending Verstappen and George Russell every single lap 
and Max Verstappen literally as the safety car came out was I was told by Jeff that he had an issue so he's going to be going backwards now until that issue gets solved and rounds the final corner George and um, Pete Gasly is going to step back on it and get this race going again and now we're too far back to do anything from Hamilton so we're probably just going to have to sit here let's see if we can stick with him as you can see there in the background Max Verstappen going nowhere we, we've pulled on him and now he is left defending Sergio Perez as I said with the issue so it's a big issue for Max and now Sergio Perez is just going to blitz him like he's not even there down the inside goes Perez and he's passed Max Verstappen there and into P7 and now a couple laps later Max Verstappen this year was sorted but not after he lost more positions to Ricardo, George Russell as well and now he's defending off Charles Leclerc who's trying to fight a comeback after his incident with Valtteri Bottas down the inside tries to go Charles Leclerc on Max Verstappen Verstappen defends that though and that was a good defensive move Ferrari v Ferrari now on to the last lap George Russell trying to get down our inside into Abbey and he can't do that I was literally hanging on for dear life these two George Russell and Sergio Perez battling each other so hard and I thought that might just keep me a gap but I made a small mistake and after that I was gone I was in the slipstream and I couldn't get myself out of it and now down the Wellington straight for the final time George Russell tries again round the outside we defend that now round Luffield for the final time out of Luffield towards Woodco round Woodco we go and now towards the end of the lap this is Lewis Hamilton going down the inside and actually getting Carlos Sainz in the last lap but Gasly's gonna win it from Lando Norris gets his first podium great for Lando Norris and it's Sebastian Vettel who rounds out the podium we come home for a solid P60 at the British Grand Prix Anthony Davidson how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today well I think it was clear what the main contributing factor out on the track was today speed I know it sounds like an obvious thing to say, Crofty, but fast cars win races, and we saw that today with our winner. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work, and they should be proud of the victory they secured here. So that's been your 2021 Brexit, I mean British Grand Prix. <laughs> what a race that was. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did get very frustrated with that race. Actually recording it at the time because I was just defending every single lap. And I kind of, I wanted to stretch my legs and I just couldn't in this race. And it was really annoying. But we got through it, got some good points and hopefully that sets us up well for Germany. But we need a good result can't keep having I mean sixth place is good especially from Austria so there's the standings Red Bull have gained in the um, in the constructors back into the paddock now and we have a decent amount of R&D points unfortunately we failed the team objective so we're not going to get plus 500 R&D points which is slightly annoying but into the kind of thing now and we are actually going to change the components this is the first time we've changed the components all season so that's gone 10 rounds which just shows the efficiency of the mercedes engine which is good but that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you enjoyed it make sure to like and subscribe if you're new around here and i'll see you very soon in germany i hope you have a good day